Hello friends, and once again, welcome to another episode of the Chest of Obscurity. Now this one, I... I happen to watch on the World Long Place channel, and I've never heard of this game. But yet I've heard of a series that most of us do know about, and that's the Raiden series. Now of course the Raiden series is one of those top-down shooters that have basically crawled its way from its humble beginnings in the early 90s and now we have and now it's it's still going as we speak this is done by the same company who made the write-in series yet this is pretty much a spin-off of it. it's called Viper Phase 1 and it's done by Seibu Kaihatsu of 1995 so let's take a look at this shall we It's called Viper Phase 1 New Version. Now just like you see you see in previous games, it plays just like the Raiden series. And just like the writing series, you pick up power-ups and nifty goodies for points. You also can do weapon change if you pick a different kind of color weapon. Your standard is always the Vulcan, a laser, as a standard writing fair, and of course, you pick up your side arm of missiles. This really has a nice um, soundtrack. And you know, normally whenever you play a, a shooter, they, you, the, the sound effects usually overlap the soundtrack of it. And I know some, and I know some shooter reviewers, like perhaps some um, Sorex or, as he would usually cover shoot 'em ups. <clears throat> this would usually be something like a point against the game itself because oh hey. This is not what you're supposed to do. This, however, isn't so bad because, you know, you actually hear the music and it doesn't overlap the sound effects. Now what I did was I picked up a missile. And as you can tell, it's still raining. So I figured since it's the weekend, I might as well just do as much content as I can. Get as much of it in. Because <clears throat> the thing is, I got tons and tons of content. Just ready to go up, so I'm like, you know what, I might as well just... Get, a, get as much of it in as I possibly can. It's not gonna hurt. Now personally, I like the Daria series over the Riding series. Only because it does bring something different.
you know, space fish. Come on. Now. I mean, enemy robot space fish. You know, you got the Bido Empire from our type, and you and you got robot space fish from the dinosaurs. Compared to everything else that you played, that basically says a lot. Like, oh hey, you're being attacked by an army of robot space fish. I mean, hey, it, it, I mean, we look at the Twinbee series, I mean, we, we see how the bad guys become actual bad guys because of a goddamn anvil. You get popped over the head with an anvil, oh, instantly you're, you instantly become a bad guy. I look at them like, the fuck? <laughs> it's like, okay, um... Do we really want to blame Acme for this? Really? Do, do we really want to blame Acme for this? Because surely we cannot we cannot blame we really cannot blame Konami for this madness. Funny it says, oh, this has. This has 100% audio and vi video emulation problems. I see no problem with this. Do you, viewers? I, I, I didn't think so. And for those who don't know why I do games like these, exposure. Just like the World Long Play Channel, that's why they do certain games, for exposure. The most like, oh yeah, I remember this game. When do you remember this game? Now maybe it's true, maybe you do remember some of these games, but just to be honest, really, do you remember this game? I mean, if it was in your area, sure. I got another one I need to do. This is like 64 on the list. It's like 63. No, 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 no. It's not 63. It's 65 on the list. What I did was 64. Black Tiger was 64. This is 65. I'll make sure. So, yeah, what I usually do is, well, I usually watch some long plays. Sometimes I watch some from Nintendo Complete. So that's an interesting channel too if you if you really want to look at a playthrough. Sometimes I, I look at I look at that. Sometimes I look at um, Fat Nick's Retro Gaming Archives. I mean, he's the, uh, he's like the only person on on YouTube that actually has a full-fledged, completed guide of Render Hero. Like I said, I got a big I got a big log of games I just need to finish and games that will probably be finished by the time <coughs> I put up everything else. I love the nuclear missiles, let me tell you. They are so OP as all get out. So 
sometimes I feel shooters are just very therapeutic. It's like watching anime sometimes, you know. These days, I know I, I haven't been watching a lot of anime these days. I don't know why that is, like... It's like, for some reason... I don't know why, but I can't stand Bleach. Maybe it's because it's too goddamn long for its own good. About the same as One Piece. It's, it's, it's about the same as any series that just ha that goes past the market. It should not be on. Like if you go past, say, if you go past fifty, you need to stop. If I really wanted to get in, if I really wanted to, you know, really be interested in the story. No, just give me, just give me one of them big, those big novels. Like I have Rurouni Kenshin. I've been reading Rurouni Kenshin, and where I am right now is I'm at um, chapter, um, well, no, volume seven. Volume seven of uh, uh, of nine. I can get myself lost in a manga very easily. Which is a funny thing. I can get myself lost in a manga very easily. I can read up to at least... Maybe 200 pages. Maybe 250 pages. In, 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 a, in a big novel. I would say maybe... 700 or something, you know, 700 pages or something like that. And one thing people don't know about me is that I, I'm, I'm a bookworm. I have always been a bookworm since I was a kid. I've read such books as A Bear Called Paddington. Um, Blaster Master. The Nintendo Comic System. Read some of the Doom novels. Don't ask me which ones. The Rubble, the Rubble Tech novels, done by Jack McKinney. And what I find so interesting about them is, like, it tells a better story than what you actually remember watching on TV. You know, whatever it was portrayed on TV. Doesn't tell a better story than, say, you reading it. Because, you know, reading a book is more detailed. So that's how I got myself into, you know, writing a book. Because it's like this. I could tell my story different ways, but you will never get much more than from, from a straight-out book. And I know some people these days, you know, say, well, I don't like to read. It's like... Well, there's something wrong with you don't like to read. You, you just don't enjoy reading. That's what it is. You just haven't found anything that basically stimulates you. That's why I think the problem is with today, with today's generation. It's like nothing actually stimulates the mind. To me, I can read, I can read, say, manga and not get bored. Because I've been I, I've been so used to reading for a long time that basically it doesn't really bother me. It's like if it's like okay if I read the manga if I read the Kingdom Hearts manga I would not get bored of that. If I read a manga of Uchu Senkai Yamato twenty one ninety nine I would not get bored of that. 
I can tell you that right now. And I'm still working on my book series too. And that's that's the thing I really do need to go back to doing. It's like these days I need to redefine myself. Even through all this mess that is going on, I need to redefine myself. Even through voice acting. Voice acting has real has really been a big big boom to me since. It somehow just brings back the reason why I'm, why I did Let's Play in the first place. And something I said on Twitter, which actually made sense. It's like, doing less plays is for the following. If you're doing it for the views, if you're doing it for money, you're not doing it right. So the reason why you do less plays is because you want to see how far... You really want to see how far... It really goes. You want to see how far your curiosity can go. That's why you do Let's Plays. You don't do them for, I mean, it's like speedruns. I hate speedruns. Can't stand them. Because all it does is just makes you into a blatant asshole. It makes you turn into a douchebag. A dipu sack. A jack and ape cantaloupe. A chicken McButt nugget of the highest order. That's why I kind of look down upon speedruns. I don't really care for speedruns. Was I? I can personally say, yeah. but you know, they're doing speedruns. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even some of my friends say, oh, well, we're doing. It doing um awesome games done quick um no man nothing I said I don't want I don't really want to see a speed run I'm like there's some games people are just doing it just to say oh hey I'm just doing it cause you know I'm making it a challenge I'm like um first off you cannot speed run a Dark Souls game okay like there is something wrong with you say, oh yeah, I can I can speed run a Dark Souls game. No, you can't. I said, like, you know, you have to really invest some time into that. You have to really invest time into doing something like, oh, you're playing Dark Souls. Well, guess what you gotta do? You gotta systematically. You have to play it systematically. Just like with every any other game, you have to systematically know the game like okay first off you have to realize something this game will kick your ass if you're not ready for it it will indeed kick your ass oh right haven't used a bomb have I like what I'm doing, you know, at first it was like the same as any other, as any other YouTuber. Oh, I'm doing this just because I want to get notes. I want this and them. Then all of a sudden, you know, after you hit a certain number, you're just like, mm, okay. And then you get into a system of your own and just, you know, realize... I like what I do. That's where I am. I like what I do. I'm at the point where I just say, you know what? You don't want to do this game, I'll do it. So it's not the fact that, oh, well, you know, 
it's not it's not giving you what you want. So well, the thing is, you haven't done it right. I know my friends would look my friends would look at me and say, "What do you mean you're not doing it right?" I say, "If you're not enjoying it, you're not doing it right." I mean, doing a let's play is supposed to be enjoyable. Enjoyable to the person playing it as well as to the audience viewing it. For me, you know, that, that's the most important thing. If you enjoy it, then your audience will enjoy it as well. You might you, you might gain you might gain some viewers for it. You, you might gain you might gain some you might gain something. For it. But as I was always told, somebody's always watching. That's why I support the smaller um, the smaller channels. And how do you and how do you do that? You watch. Like there's some smaller channels I do watch. Time again. It doesn't matter about the number, it's just the fact that, you know, they're very in trouble to watch. Even after hours, I do enjoy watching them just because, oh hey. I say never wrong with watching you know, let's play and whatnot. <laughs> Especially games that haven't had enough exposure. Like I know I like I know I got a few parts of what I what I've been working on since twenty eighteen done. And I need to go back to it just because I really do just need to just get underway to say, oh, I have it done. About the same thing with every other game that I, that I have in backlog. I said, well, when are you ever going to do this? So when I'm done with this. So, well, how many games do you have finished? I'm like, well, to be quite honest, I have quite a few. Most of them are on PS4. <sighs> Most of what I'm doing now. It really is something. Maybe it's just because there are some games that that kind of feel sorry for it. I just pick them up just because I'm like, it's interesting. Why would he, as you know, it's like this. Some games I find interesting that I want to play them for myself. Like I could say this. There are some people who like Resident Evil. Me, I can tolerate it. But the truth is, you know, I don't really care much for horror. Horror just feels so outdated. And, you know, it's like, Today's horror just doesn't really match up to me just actually getting scared. Now, considering that if I say watch, <clears throat> if I was watching a J horror, oh, nobody can say shit. 
So I can watch a J horror film and you know and just not be unfazed by it. I watch anime for God's sake. I mean shit, I've I've watched Fist of the North Star, I've watched Gogol 13. Hell, I've watched um I'm on Apocalypse of Devil Man. I've seen Bowel, I've seen Gentle Cyber. I've seen Rikio, shit. Rikio the animal. I can tell you, that's some real fucked up shit. <laughs> you know, I feel that, you know, there's sometimes there's some people who just don't understand anime as much as the next person. Like, how come you don't feel on Facebook? I said, well, I can easily be desensitized by horror, just through anime itself. And I can just instantly just say, eh. I said, oh, no, no, no. Horror, horror doesn't really get to me. Like I could say, the most boring, the most boring game I've ever actually seen being played was Outcast. I'm sorry, but it's like this. You're a reporter. You took on this job just to get a scoop. You go through hell and back just to get the scoop. You didn't come in with a weapon of some sort. I don't care if it was concealed or not concealed, but you did not come in with at least a gun on hand. But you went in with, say, a goddamn camera. Something is seriously wrong with you. They got all these crazy killers cut gunning after your ass, not coming after your ass, gunning for you. The only thing you gotta do is run for your life. I'm like, the fuck? And I've watched a Let's Play a, 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 of it one time, and I don't know why, but it's like, it just really just... It didn't really get to me. It's like, oh. This is all you're doing. So it's running out of the game, like, I don't know. That's why I can never get into war. Because all I would do would do the opposite. It just piss me off. Oh, I want you to do a Resident Evil game. No. Don't feel like it. What should you do, Don Robert? Sometimes I might say, okay. Sometimes I say, mm, yeah, okay. Yep, some people say, well, Izzy, why do you do this? I say, because nobody asked you to do it. That, that's the reason. Nobody asked you to do it. So I'm doing it just, just because I was asked. Another thing that just really gets me is backseat. The backseat game. I, I really can't stand backseat game. Especially, it's like, well, you know, you should be careful of A, B, C, D, or G. Like, well, I understand that, but come on now. You 
You don't really need to hold my hand. Battle's won, but the war is not yet over. The enemy has the power to warp you and them back in time several hours and force you to start all over again. This time it'll be harder. They'll be expecting you. Congratulations, there's a second loop! And then it goes over again. Yeah, they're expecting you to play the game over. Like, oh, hey, you're going. There's a second loop through us. No. And there, and there are times that people, there are times that people would take offense. But I'm like, don't take offense, please, guys. Don't take offense. As like, you know, there's some things you don't have to hold my hand for. As you forget, sometimes I, I play without thinking, and sometimes it's better for me not to think because it's like after hours. Prepare to try again. Sure. Mm-hmm. All of it is gonna be in space. Yeah, of course. But like I said, you know, there's some games you don't really have to just say, well, you know, you had to do, you had to do this, and I just want to let you know ahead of time. You know, it's fine you let me know ahead of time, but so aside from that, let me enjoy it. <laughs> let me enjoy it for what it's worth. It's like watching a movie. Let, let me enjoy it. I said, if it's gonna be one of the what the fuck moments, you'll definitely see the what the fuck moments. Because I know my friends would actually say, Izzy, what the fuck? Why are you. I said, I could ask you the same thing, man. No, seriously, it's about the same thing. Like, oh, hey. Well, I could ask you why. Why are you playing this game? And I'm playing. I'm getting through this game. I'm not even sweating it because, oh, hey, going through a second loop. That means, oh, you get to play the whole game over for eight more. For eight more levels. So the second loop, you're just going through space. No longer Earth, just space. You went through Earth. Now you're going through space. And all you're doing it for is just basically ending. You're not doing it for anything else. You're just doing it for ending. Well, it's gonna be harder, yeah, I'm right. I'm still powered up like I'm, like nobody's business. All I'm doing is shooting straight up in the face. You can open up your hatch. It doesn't matter to me. I'm still shooting up everything that moves. It'll be harder. My ass will be harder. So he just went to stage two, just like that, like, oh, hey. <laughs> We're, forget stage one. <laughs> you're, you're already there, man. You're already in space, dude. Like the Guardian Legend. Does everybody remember the, the Guardian Legend, right? And that one code that basically all you did was suit, the shooting stages, TGL.
Does everybody remember those passwords back in the day when they were just short as all get out? Especially the ones coming from Culture Brain. Oh, you want to get you want to get on stage uh, stage two? Oh, just W two. Oh, you want or, or two W? And everybody remembers Metroid, you know. Everybody remembers Justin Bailey. I remember the last thing I ordered, the last thing I ordered for myself from Amazon was. A book of NES passwords that I remember I had at one point, but the but the last thing I remember was there was one page that I was torn out, and, was, and I remember I bought it from Toys R Us when I was a kid, or rather when I was a teenager. And you're probably wondering how come I'm talking so much. I don't really normally talk so much when I'm doing Let's Play. Oh, especially when you, especially if you're playing a Yakuza game. God, there is chock full of story. You really, you really get into it. It's like there are times I just want to. It's like before I, before I want to record, I really want to just, you know, get myself a big, big bag of popcorn. And just get a big, and just get a big bowl. And for the most part, just like, okay, I'm ready for this. Start recording. And it's like 30, 30, 40 minutes of nothing but story. I'm just all you're gonna hear from me is just like, okay. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit back until I start kicking somebody's ass. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm I'm going to have some popcorn. All you're going to hear me as much <laughs> in the background. It's like that, that's all you're going to hear. Just me munching. About the same if I was if I was doing Snatcher. It's like oh you're at Act Three. Guess what? Plot dump. It's like okay you went through all you went through all the shit and you went through all the shit in Act One and Act Two. You. You went through the investigation, you went through the action scene. Okay, we're gonna give you a break. Guess what? Well, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to do the following. We're gonna give you one hell of a plot dump. You're gonna sit there and you're gonna enjoy it. Sign Konami. P.S. Hideo, Hideo Kojima would like to thank you for playing this game. I just find it funny though, it's like, oh, hey, you're... You're playing this game, and I'm like, yeah. So sometimes, you know, I watch World Long Plays just because I'm fascinated at the games they, they do, they do show on their channels. And some of the games I've never even heard of because, A, um, we used to have an arcade, but ours was run by gangs. No lie. There's one, there was one we used to go to, it was in, it was in, um, well, we had a few arcades that we used to go to. Uh, mainly sometime we went to um, Alliance Castle in Delamo. Sometimes we went to Time Out in, in, in Fox Hills. 
I forgot what that one in hard form was. I mean, from what I remember, they're still they're still the husk of the once great mall that was known as Montgomery Board. But as I said, now it's nothing but a husk of its former self. It's a goddamn shame too, because there's. You know, it it, it, it it really tugs at the heart just seeing just seeing it just unused like that. So now I don't know about you, but I miss going to the mall. And I don't mean the one I go go to, and I don't mean the one I go to normally, which is Chester Square. I mean Fox Hill, something like that. I actually miss going to a mall. The last time I actually went to a mall was around um, Christmas Eve. And the funny thing is my, my my therapist told me Now you went to now you went to this mall on Christmas Eve. Try going there when it's not so busy. And you know what? That's the first time I actually went to a mall by myself. And what's funnier is, is right after I got out of the hospital, right after I, right after I had that stint being installed in me, and it really was, it really was a great feeling because, oh hey, I did something different. I took the bus to, I took the bus up to. And for the most part, walk part of the way back up there. Now you know, the altitude did get to me. It just felt so... It felt like an achievement because I did something that I never thought I'd actually do in a long time, which is go to a mall by myself. Even though I took the bus to get there, just going there by by myself, that was like, wow. And even to me, I said, wow, this, this is pretty damn interesting. Going to a mall by myself. On top of that, oh, there's a sizzler. There's a sizzler. I think I'll just go eat for. I don't think I'll make me a plate of food, just so I just so I have something in the tank. I think I should mention that, you know, I am indeed, um, d have grown a strong interest in voice acting. Because, you know, I I've been doing Let's Plays for quite a long time. Like, say almost nine or ten years. I've been an author most of my life. My first book has already been published. It's on Amazon. It can be downloaded. It can be ordered. The, you know, both physical and, and digital. I so said if I wanted to, um, I do have a Patreon account that I plan to basically work on when things change. And for the most part, well, you know, hey, it's different, you know, at least, at least my family is very supportive about this because 
they want me to, su to succeed in this. They are went so far, my, my cousins have already went so far as go to Louisiana and spread the word. So is there anything else? Oh yeah, just just, just put in a good word for me. That's all I ask. Just put in a good word. I think even with um all that has happened, you know um I said well. That's the only thing I can do. It's the only thing I can do, the smart thing that I can do for myself is invest, invest some money into myself. I am not messing up <laughs> even when I you know stood up for him just some just for a hot second so, oh hey just do <laughs> here you go myself a new chair. Still got the old busted one from Walmart. The one, the one side that's just like, okay, um, there's no, there's no screw on this one side. It's like, it's on the right side of my seat. Sounding really good. Cause the last thing I really do need to be right now is just stressed out. I don't I don't really need no more stress happening to me. I spoke to my aunt last um last year, or rather last month. And she told me how things have been with her. And mind you, she's a little she is the last of my, the last of my, um, my actual family I have. Like my, um, like mind you, she's the last of the great four sisters. As I like to, as I like, as I like to call them, my mom and her three sisters. My mom and the four, and, and, my mom and her three sisters, I call the great aunts. Because they used to be, they used to be a singing group at one time. The Delta Harmonists, they were called. I kind of wish I was there when, you know, when they were singing. In their prime. And at one point, and I learned about this, my mom herself wanted to be a writer, but never made it work. So guess up so guess who took an interest into writing and whatnot? Me. <laughs> I took an interest into writing just because oh hey. I got some interesting ideas. I 
can't see nothing wrong with what I got in my head. I mean, there's some people who find my stories boring, but I find them pretty interesting because I come from a very interesting family. Mainly from musicians. Yeah, mainly from musicians and, and the like. We are a family of ours, after all. I'm the only one in my line who hasn't made it hasn't made a dent in what I'm supposed to be doing. Right now. But yeah. Well, that, that's not really true. I mean, I do have... I mean, I, I did put myself on a map as far as Legacy of the Seven Stars is concerned. Because, oh hey, I just decided, oh, let me just go to Barnes & Noble. Put my foot in the door since I, I have a product. In spite, of what the, in spite of what people say, I'm like, well, at least I got my foot in the door. So, oh, at least I, at least it's noticeable on Amazon too. If people want to buy it, they can buy it. I'll be more interested if people just be interested in just buying it just, just because, oh, hey. And other thing is, just, just buy it just to read something, you know. Not just to become a goddamn reviewer, like, uh, first off, you're not Gene Shelley, okay? So shut the fuck up. So another thing is, That's only the first book out of seven, okay? So another thing is, this isn't the only thing I'm working on. I just haven't found time to do most of this stuff because after everything that has happened, after everything that has been going on with my family and whatnot, I'm like, okay, now you guys want to talk. Yeah, okay, let's talk. Fine, whatever. <laughs> Mainly be asked, what do, you, what, what do I want to do with the house? Um, so, well, for one thing, keep it. We could do something about that back house. So turn it into a guest house. To where we can start charging. Start charging rent so you know money can actually go back into the back in the house. Oh, we can turn that into an apartment. No, no, let's not do that. Let's just make that into a, you know. A 
house for him. Put some money back into the house. Legitly. And of course, of course, gonna be legit, but you know. Just say, okay, this is what we want to do. Might as well make some money while we have a home. Looking for a place to stay? Well, we're going to have to charge it. And that should be done. should be done. Thank you for playing right through the end. Yes, thank you. Congratulations, I don't have to play this game anymore. <laughs> but really, though, all, all I really want out of all this Just to be successful. That's all. That's all I really want. Just to be successful. No matter what it is, just just straight out be successful. That, that's that's the end the end goal in life. But, um, as you can see, um, I'm actually done with this game. So I made a blog of sorts while... <laughs> Thanks to your skills and... Let's just read this while, while still doing this. I just want to make sure, I just want to say, you know, after all this, that's... That's the goal. Just to be successful no matter what happens. So, as we're at... at as we're nearing the end of the video, we might as well just read the ending. Thanks to your skills, the enemy force have been annihilated, and their evil designs of pan-galactic domination have been thwarted. The legend of the heroes to save the Earth from the, this crisis will be told forevermore. Of course they will. As you can see, I have played this game before. I am indeed the nameless hero. And that was Viper Phase 1. For the arcade, brought to us by Seibu Kaihatsu of 1995. And I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed recording this. And I will see you next time for even more great content from the Chess of Obscurity. Again, this was Viper Phase 1. And I hope to see you next time with more craziness and I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you next time so whatever the hell else I feel like playing I've been your friendly neighborhood Tenkaichi PI7 and I'm closing another game into the chest of obscurity thank you for watching and I will see you next time until then take care God bless and as always Tenkai Muso and Good night.